Des Moines, Iowa is on board and ready to go to take in Afghan refugees fleeing their country, Governor Kim Reynolds said Wednesday. While she did not give a timetable for how soon that could occur, she said Iowa is working with U.S. Department of State on the process. The state is also working with local authorities to find families and homes to accommodate them. The message that I want to relay to Iowans is that we want to be a partner, Reynolds told reporters at the Iowa State Fair, where she appeared with fellow Republican U.S. Senator Joni Ernst at the Iowa Pork Tent. We want them to be here, and we want them to know that. And we'll work through those processes, whatever they may be. Ernst, who told the Des Moines Register earlier this week that Iowa has a role to play in accepting Afghan refugees, said Wednesday she appreciates the governor's willingness to work on the issue. They're wonderful, they've supported our men and women in uniform, they love America, they're hard workers, she said. We would love to welcome them to the state. Residents of Afghanistan have been fleeing the country amid the turmoil after U.S. forces withdrew over the weekend and the Taliban quickly took control. Asked how the situation with accepting Afghan refugees compares to her stance on accepting those who are crossing the southern border, Reynolds said it is completely different. Reynolds had taken criticism from Democrats in April when her administration declined a request from the federal government to assist with taking in unaccompanied migrant children from Central America who were in federal custody during a surge of people seeking to enter the U.S. at the time. Reynolds and state officials had said that decision was due to limited state resources and administrative concerns. The refugees go through a process. They are vetted and then they come into the states, she said. It's completely different than what's happening at the southern border, completely different. Many of the families presenting themselves at the southern border do so seeking asylum, which has its own process but is legally different than applying for refugee status. Reynolds' office said earlier this week that the state has resettled 94 Iraqi and Afghan special immigrant visa recipients since 2017. Reynolds did not give a number for how many the state expects to take in, or say where potential refugees would be resettled, but she said the state is continuing to have discussions. Follow Ian Richardson Twitter at at DMRINR.